Hi everyone, this is a brief presentation covering a category of organic molecules called the hydrocarbons. Specifically, we'll be looking at a group called the alkanes. Hydrocarbons are a category of organic molecules which contain only carbon and hydrogen atoms. Uh, now, additionally, the alkanes, the group that we'll be looking at, contain only carbon-carbon single bonds or carbon-hydrogen single bonds. The alkanes can exist as straight chain molecules. There are also branched chain alkanes which exist. In this presentation, we'll focus only on the straight chain alkanes. Alkanes are molecules which will react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water as the products of that. Those reactions will also give off a large amount of energy, and this is why the hydrocarbons, many of them, are used as fuels. Examples that include methane, which is used to fuel Bunsen burners in chemistry class, propane, which might power your grill at home, uh, and also octane, which is the major component for gasoline. A general equation which helps us to determine the formulas for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. We'll review this in greater detail later in this presentation. Let's take a look at the first five alkanes. The first one is methane. This is a molecule which has only one carbon atom. Ethane has two carbon atoms. Propane has three. Butane has four. And pentane has five carbon atoms. Uh, the mnemonic device that we can use to help us to remember this is make every possible berry pancake. I'm kind of partial to blueberry myself, but the next five alkanes are hexane, which has six carbon atoms, heptane, which has seven carbons, octane has eight carbons, nonane has nine, and decane, the molecule decane, has ten carbon atoms. The mnemonic that I like to use to remember this is HEC. Heptathletes obtain no deal. Let's take a look at an alkane. This is methane, and uh, we call this a ball and stick model. The black ball at the center of the model represents a carbon atom, and then the yellow balls around the outside edge, these represent the hydrogen atoms that are part of the methane molecule. Uh, the sticks that we can see connecting the atoms, we can see one here, we see another one here, uh, these represent the single the sticks represent the single covalent bonds which hold the molecule together. So again, this is methane with a chemical formula of CH4. Here's a Lewis structure for methane. We see a central carbon atom and it has single bonds to four hydrogen atoms. So let's imagine how we would put together a more complex alkane. So here I've got one model of methane and here is a second model of methane. Now, uh, we can see that right now, the way that I have these, I couldn't possibly merge these together because we know that carbon atoms are going to be limited to forming just four bonds, so I can't form another bond to make these come together. What I can do is eliminate some of the atoms involved here. So I'm going to take off this hydrogen here, and I'm going to take off the other one from the other molecule, and then I can see uh, that I should be able to join together and form a molecule that contains two carbons and a total of six hydrogens. So this would be a molecule of ethane. Here is a Lewis structure for ethane. We see that it has two carbon atoms, and each carbon atom has single bonds to three hydrogen atoms to get a chemical formula of C2H6. Let's take a look at another alkane. This one is propane. We can see on this molecule that each terminal carbon is going to have three hydrogens bonded to it. We can see that right here. One, two, three hydrogens. We see it on the other terminal carbon right here. One, two, three hydrogens. And then we can see that the central carbon atom is going to have two hydrogens bonded to it. So we come up with a chemical formula for this molecule of C3, and then I have H3, 6 plus 2 more gives me H8. Here is a Lewis structure for propane. We have three carbons. The peripheral carbons are each bonded to three hydrogen atoms. The central carbon has two hydrogens bonded to it. An alternate way of showing this molecule would be uh, to use a representation like this. The end 
of each line segment indicates a carbon atom. So this point right here is this carbon, this point is the central carbon, and this point is the carbon on the far right side. And we'll take a look at one more alkane. This one will be butane. So we can see bu uh, representation of butane is here. We have four carbon atoms, and we see again each terminal carbon is going to have one, two, three hydrogens bonded to it. We see the same with the other terminal carbon on the other end. And then the carbons in the center of the molecule will have two hydrogens bonded to them. So we get a total chemical formula for this molecule, remember this is butane, of C4H10. This final Lewis structure shows us how butane is put together. We see that there are four carbon atoms, all bonded together by single bonds. The peripheral carbons have three hydrogens bonded to them, and then the two carbons on the inside of the chain have two hydrogen atoms bonded to them. So we get an overall formula of C4H10. And here's the alternate way of showing that molecule. We have a carbon, 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 and then the this representation implies the remaining bonds of the four total will be to hydrogen atoms.